Hey, good morning. Rise and shine. Time to get out of your bed and start your day off right. It is Thursday, the 10th of September, 2009. I'm Holly Hanula, along with Andy Campbell. And we're getting the scoop on a new matchmaking site that can help you be of service to your country. But first, here's... Well, early this summer, President Obama called on the nation to give back through a summer-long service program called United We Serve. Take a listen. I'm calling on all of you to make volunteerism and community service part of your daily life and the life of this nation. And when I say all, I mean everyone, young and old, from every background, all across this country. The program kicked off in June and ends tomorrow with the National Day of Service on the anniversary of 9-11. We've dialed up Robert Rosenthal, Director of Communications for VolunteerMatch.org, to tell us how we can all change September 11th from a day of tragedy to a day of positive service. Good morning, Robert. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good to have you here this morning. So what is National Day of Service for people tuning in and aren't real clear about it? Well, for the last eight years, there has been a growing movement uh, across the nation to uh, turn the anniversary of 9-11 into a day of, of action, of uh, going beyond um, um, simply memorializing what happened on 9-11 and those tragic events and starting to do uh, important things for the community in a productive fashion. And uh, tomorrow is, is the first official recognition of the day as a national day of service with special programs sponsored by Congress, uh, signed into law by the President, to encourage Americans to remember the day through volunteering and service activities. Uh, one of the things that uh, really came through uh, during those days in 2001 was the remarkable spirit of un unity and compassion. And 9-11 uh, Day is a day for all of us now to get out and uh, get involved with the community service organizations in our local communities that are helping to solve some of the, the problems that we all see, um, helping to educate our kids, feed the hungry, and care for the environment. And uh, I'm here to say that volunteermatch.org, uh, the website that uh, is the most, uh, uh, the most popular uh, resource out there, it's one of the great ways for everyone across the country to get involved. And so are more people volunteering, Robert, or more people taking action right now? They are. This has really been a remarkable year for volunteering and service. In addition to new legislation supporting days like 9-11, National Day of Service, uh, there was a, a, a number of uh, new programs um, uh, funded by Congress to support national service movements like AmeriCorps and Peace Corps. In addition, there's been a, a general upswelling of interest in volunteering, really since the recession began, uh, as Americans realized that there's a way for all of us to get involved in solving these problems. Today, we're seeing around a 20% increase in traffic at volunteermatch.org. Wow. So, Robert, some people are saying, hey, September 11th is tomorrow. Is it too late for people to get involved, or is there still time? No, it's not too late. In fact, because 9-11 starts, uh, actually falls on a work day, um, one of the most uh, important ways that people can get involved if they don't have that day off is to use 9-11 as an opportunity to, to really make a pledge to volunteering and service for the entire year. So you can actually spend time between now and 9-11 uh, using volunteermatch.org and our search engine with service opportunities to find things that you want to do. And then on 9-11, you can actually reach out through Volunteer Match to those organizations and say, I want to make a difference. That's incredible. Robert, thank you so much for your time this morning. And for more information about volunteering, head to our website, dailybuzznow.com. Archie, man.